Welcome back everybody. You're watching my 2018 Hit List Bucks video. This year I uh, know for a fact that I had 10 different bucks I'm going to be targeting. Obviously uh, all these bucks aren't on the same property. I have another property I'm going to be hunting this year quite often and uh, you know they're not they're they're split up so I don't think that every one of these bucks is in the same wood lot because that's certainly not the case at all. But let's get started okay so most of you guys already know this buck is pitchfork i uh uploaded a video a couple days ago of him it is still my biggest buck on my hit list this year the biggest buck i've got pictures of so far this year and he's not on our home farm he's on another property unfortunately i haven't been able to get any better trail cam videos of him but hopefully i'll be able to soon but as of right now he's my biggest buck so far this year Okay, so now we're on to the G2 buck, which anybody that's followed my channel since uh, the past year knows a lot about. Kaylee and I hunted this deer super hard last year and uh, ended up not harvesting him. Last year he was a three and a half year old, and this year he's a four and a half year old, and uh, I'm pretty disappointed with his antler growth. He really hasn't put on too many more inches, and these pictures you're looking at right here, he... Uh, He's not fully done growing yet. This is still in uh, July, but I'm sure I'll end up getting some better uh, trail cam video and pictures of him here very shortly for you guys to see. As you can see uh, from his shed antlers that I picked up this spring, this trail camera pictures right now look very, very similar to his sheds. The only thing that I can really see that uh, is better this year is his brow tine on his one side there. Both brow tines are a little bit bigger this year, but otherwise his rack is pretty much exactly the same. So this is certainly a deer that we're going to be hunting pretty hard. Anytime a, a deer gets to four and a half around here, you know, there's a reason he got that old with how hard these bucks get hunted. So, uh, he is certainly not going to be an easy task to put on the ground because he's so nocturnal. But as they get older, sometimes they start making making mistakes with with uh, late season food. So hopefully we can make it happen. This brings us to the G2 Buck sidekick from last year. And he's also running with him again this year. This buck is a buck I am super disappointed in. This deer is a year and a half old buck was an eight point and I found both his sheds as you can see right there and the pat last year he was a two and a half year old eight point and really didn't put on you know really didn't grow that much from being a year and a half to two and a half so I really figured Kaylee passed him up during muzzleloader season and I passed him up during archery season last year a couple different times thinking that he was really going to turn into something this year and as you can see he really did not put on that many uh that many inches at all so this is a deer we're definitely going to target and uh if we get the opportunity we're going to take him out he's right in the same woodlot with the g2 buck and seems to be running with him quite often we've got a lot of history with this deer and he's actually a deer that i oftentimes actually see hunting he uh he seems to be very active during daylight hours. There's multiple times I saw him bow hunting during daylight and uh, during muzzleloader season, he would come out into the food plot quite often. But hopefully uh, Kaylee or I run into him again this year. I bet, I bet one of us will or somebody will. This buck right here, I'm calling the great eight this year. This deer is one that I really can't, honestly say I remember from last year I I found a couple two and a half year old sheds that were eight points but they just don't match this buck's rack I, I unless unless he grew a totally different style rack the sheds that I found in this woods do not match him so this buck you know may be summering in our woods and, and might leave or or maybe he'll stay but anyways I'm going to call him the grade eight and it's definitely a three and a half year old deer and a deer that uh, we're going to be targeting. Right now he's in a pretty decently small woodlot that's uh, pretty much fully surrounded with corn. So 
I think uh, if we have an opportunity at this buck, it'll be in the in the early season. But we will find out soon. I haven't got the best trail cam footage of them yet. This uh, next footage you'll see of them right now is kind of foggy. And he's also running with a buck that I call Funky. And you guys probably remember Funky from last year. This is him right here. He has managed to be all around my trail cameras, yet not give me a good frontal shot of his rack this year. I've got multiple different videos and a few pictures of him on camera, but I have yet to get a good frontal view of him that's clear and not foggy and stuff. But as you guys probably remember from last year, uh, Funky was a buck that was all over our property yeah, uh, the early season and even into the very beginning of November and then he disappeared and uh, he wasn't on our property at all for the late season and I actually thought that you know one of the neighbors must have shot him and uh, he was gone but what he did was just leave the leave the uh, property when it got cold for you know during the winter time he wintered on somebody else's so he's back this summer, and I think if we're going to kill him, we got to kill him, you know, early on because I believe that he'll probably stick to that same pattern and go winter somewhere else. So that's a buck that we really need to get on early and see if we can get, get him killed. Well, this brings us to the buck that I'm calling the Big Seven, and uh, you'll probably never guess why I'm calling him the Big Seven. Yes, he is a Big Seven point. This buck is a deer I do remember from last year. He was actually a six point last year. He had four on his left side and just two on his right side. Uh, kind of an odd looking buck, but this deer I believe is a four and a half year old. I mean, if you look at his belly sag and then look at the curvature in his back, I mean, this is an old buck, especially the more I watch videos and see pictures of this deer. I mean, he has got a gargantuan body and all the telltale signs of an older, older, more full, fully mature deer. So this is a deer that's definitely going to be on our hit list. If you look at this video, the light's kind of screwed up, but look at the belly on him. I mean, he is a very, very big bellied saggy back deer and that indicates age old age so hopefully we run into this deer at some point this buck is a buck i'm going to call wells because he in this trail cam video right here under the apple tree it's at one of our well sites so i figured the name wells would be fitting for him i think he's just a typical three and a half year old eight point 18 20 inches wide and uh, definitely a shooter. So hopefully one of us run into him this year. Good looking deer. This is a buck I'm going to call Mr. Mass. And I'm sure you can tell why I'm going to call it Mr. Mass. He has got some serious mass in his rack. And he carries it all the way out to his uh, tips. So that's why he got the name Mr. Mass. And uh, I think he's a three and a half year old deer. I really didn't get any great, you know, trail cam footage of his body or anything. He actually sniffs the camera right here and gets a whiff of me and freaks out and about takes out the tree right here. <laughs> he definitely didn't like how that camera smelled, but certainly a buck that we will target this year as well. If he gives one of us an opportunity this is a deer that's definitely a three and a half year old deer in my opinion he's nearly 20 inches wide outside and uh unfortunately he's only a seven point and i haven't been able to get any you know great trail camera footage of him it seems like every time i see him he's running past the camera so i don't know if uh he's just always on the move or if he's wary of the trail cameras or what but I'm giving him the name Pit Stop, and he will definitely get an arrow if he comes walking under me when the time's right. 
This is a deer that I really, really hope just runs and hides under a treetop all hunting season. I really don't want this deer to walk anywhere near me because I'm afraid I would shoot it, even though I'm just about certain it's really only a two and a half year old buck. You can see just by looking at his body size and his characteristics of his, of his rack and everything that he's only a two and a half year old deer, but man, he's got some cool character with those two uh, kickers going straight in on the inside of what would be his G2s, but he doesn't have brow tines. It's almost like his brow tines, you know, are growing toward the center of his rack in a way. Really unique looking rack, and it's kind of cool how symmetrical both sides are. And uh, I'm going to name this buck Rattle, obviously, because I think it would be the best set of rattling antlers you could ever have. I can just picture, you know, finding his sheds and having the coolest, you know, set of rattling antlers anybody's ever seen. But like I said before, I'd love to see this buck next year, but the odds of him making it are slim to none be just because of, uh, you know, he's a nice buck and uh, he would be awfully hard for somebody to let walk by him around here. But you never know, maybe he can he can uh, evade all the hunters and, and make it and be something really special next year. We'll find out. Okay, folks, that's a wrap on my hit list video this year. Obviously, that's uh, subject to change. Um, pretty much every year I get pictures of uh, bucks that move in as we get closer to uh, the archery season. Even, you know, especially during a rut, those bucks will travel a really long ways looking for a hot doe. So I oftentimes get, uh, you know, new bucks in at that, that point in time as well. And in the late season, you know, we have so much food on the property that we, we pull deer in from, you know, all over the place. So these are just the bucks that I know about right now. And I know that, you know, more will, will move in eventually. But hopefully uh, we have a date with one of these bucks here coming up soon. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I also want to know if you guys have your hit list bucks picked out for this hunting season yet. You can uh, leave a comment down below and uh, tell us if you've got your big buck picked out yet. If not, hopefully you do soon. Take it easy, everybody.